Welcome everybody to a uh, short video on self-reflection. Sometimes we've got so many things going on in our lives. Uh, you know, things happen, they're bad things, they're just unexpected things. And of course, sometimes we always tell ourselves, hey, it's somebody else's fault. Uh, you know, what, whatever it might be. And, and sometimes that may be actual, or maybe legitimate, but sometimes there's also the, the issue of um, maybe it's not everybody else's fault. And so that's where the self-reflection comes in. You know, when was the last time you did a self-reflection? By self-reflection, I'm talking about you know, looking at yourself like you're a business. And how do you operate? How do you perform? Do you, you know, start on time? Do you finish on time? Do you get things done? And it, I'm talking about in your personal life. Uh, be it your personal life or if you have to be a college student. You know, uh, you know, whatever the case is, what are you doing you know, in that respect? And do a self-reflection. So a self-examination might be another way to call it. Uh, an evaluation of where you are and where you are going. Sometimes uh, people are heading down this road that, you know, when you get to the end of it, you know, it's it's devastating or, you know, bad things happen. And how do you stop yourself from getting there? You know, it's not always somebody else's fault. And sometimes it's just people don't realize you know, what they're doing wrong. And now whether somebody has to step in and tell you that you're doing wrong, or you could be the person to step in and tell somebody, you notice somebody who really needs help and you, you intervene, I guess you could call it, or just, you know, make an observation, whatever the case is, but where are you going? Reflect and evaluate how you perform your daily life. Again, this is family, school, you know, work, uh, outside things, you know, hobbies, or, you know, if you're a soccer parent, whatever the case is, you gotta look at how you're doing things, and are you getting them done e efficiently, effectively, or are you just kind of just, you know, flying by on it? You know, so it's important that you understand why things don't go as planned. You know, why isn't everything going right? Uh, sometimes there's a legitimate reason. You know, some people, you know, COVID-19 is a legitimate reason. But there are some people that use that as a reason when it's not really legitimate. So, you know, you got that's where the evaluating is looking at yourself. Why are things not going the way you want to go? You know, do you have bad habits? And why don't you change it? A lot of people have time management issues and they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and they don't change anything and that's the thing you have to stand up recognize that hey i'm doing something wrong um you know i'm putting the tire on the car the wrong way or something whatever whatever it is you got to figure that out and stop it and change the way you do it you know what excuses do you tell yourself and again sometimes there's legitimate reasons but other times you're just making excuses and you gotta you know uh if you like say if you call a student and you're late on turning at work you know why is that uh, are you doing you know like if you're a graduate student you're supposed to be working on graduate studies seven you know five days a week seven days a week if you're doing like you know sunday night stuff well then why figure out what it is you're doing wrong in your scheduling for the week whatever the case is but you know what excuses are you telling yourself you know Reflect, evaluate, stop the excuses and bad habits. And just reflect on who you are and who you want to be. And then just envision it and do it. Stop procrastinating and wasting your time. And that's the, you know, the only time you're really wasting is your own. So again, you know, stop procrastinating and wasting time. 